Hey guys, OG Albina here, bringing you guys another Sword and Shield Y4 battle. Today we have yet another UU match against my good buddy John Jr. We're playing this one right after the other one, so I want my revenge. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. It was the last Y5 battle that we uploaded, most likely. Uh, it was the last UU battle that we uploaded, for sure. And if you haven't done so, check out John in the description below. Again, good friend of mine, great player, and uh, obviously a great content creator as well. And last thing before we jump in, definitely hit the sub button here if you haven't done so already. We got plenty of Wi-Fi content going up, so if that floats your boat, definitely do so. It's really easy. It's completely free, and you can always change your mind later. I'd really appreciate you uh, helping us push towards our goal. But let's go ahead and go in. Last time we used a Trick Room team, so one gimmick onto the next. We're going to be using a Rain team with uh, some cool, cool mons for sure. We got another Crawdon, and we got Thundee, and I hope Thundee wins. Actually, Thundee goes insane. Thundee goes nuts in this particular matchup. Um, wow. Wait, Thundee goes insane. If I can just get up spikes, chip down that Raikou, I can win the game with Thundee on its own. Like, on its own. It just wins. So, that's honestly amazing. Um, part of me really just wants to lead off with my Cloud. They also just straight just raw lose to my boy kingdra kingdra clicks spec surf and there's nothing my opponent can do about it he's also lele plus scissor which me leads me to believe that he is probably scarf scissor knowing john he's for sure scarf scissor um so that's something we got to keep in mind honestly that's probably better i'd rather that thing not be bp um but it's also something we have to keep in mind with the poltergeist which can be very very annoying i need to check that thing's base speed because i don't know it Socks. Um, you canceled for doing that. Well, who knows? Socks is going to lead. I am going to rain dance. At least initially. I think rain dance is incredibly clutch right now. I want to make sure I get up my rain in case he's like banded earthquake. And we are super deaf, so I don't know if this thing kills us if it's not banded. I don't think it will. That's for sure banded. There's no way you can convince me otherwise. He's not life orb, right? Oh, good golly gosh. That is for sure choice banned. Because Life Orb is a roll. Very much so not in his favor. Um, so I want to see. How Mr. John elects to deal with this Surf. Because it will pick up a KO here. Oh, it's my custom Kingdra Spike. Nice. Yeah, surf will pick up a KO here. I don't think there's literally anything he can do about that. So we should be fine. Honestly, like we should be fine. I'm going to click Surf. And hope for the best. He's definitely thinking. He's thinking about how he has to give me a Pokemon. And that's completely fair. Kingdra with the choice of specs. 2A. Where are we going? You turn the Scizor. Especially defensive. In the rain. This is a for sure a two-hit KO. Good lord, that just died. Good night. I'll see you later, Scizor. Holy crap. Lele. In the rain. Surf, unfortunately, does not kill for rocks 100% of the time. It is about a 50-50 roll. Raikou? Dude, I'm going to take the chip on this. My boy is leaving himself wide open. Raikou. In the rain. This is a roll. Wow, he's super assault vest. I'll take it. Whatever. This isn't going to kill me. Just don't parry me. That's all I ask. Just don't parry me. Oh, God. They paused for a minute there, and I was terrified. I was legitimately terrified. Uh, but there's no water resistance site. Literally no water resistance site. So, I'm just going to click. Hitting my button. 
Yet another surf is going to pop. This is choice specs boosted in the rain. That was for sure assault vest. I refuse to believe otherwise, knowing again, knowing knowing John and how he operates. That, yeah, looking at that damage, that's uh most definitely choice specs. We are timid, so actually I don't think we knock out Lele, but I'll take the damage. <laughs> I'll take the damage. Lele a threat. Aphrodite, that is going to be Lele. So Kingra's gonna lead off and is gonna take um basically two and a half. Or two and three quarters. Something like it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we just surf. I'm gonna break through as much as humanly possible with Kingdra, and we're gonna go for that end game with our Thundy. And it's definitely possible at this point. That's not gonna knock it out, that's fine. The bus is going to pop. Unfortunately, we don't get much damage out of that. I mean, uh, much info out of that. What I should say. He has leftovers. So, honestly, that's fine. Which means... I can honestly go into Thundy now, right? He showed me lefties? I'm going to drop a Thunder. Yeah, I'm dropping a thunder, bro. That's kind of just what's happening right here. How many turns of rain do we have left? Yeah, I don't think it's worth setting up yet, but thunder will kill me a Pokemon. And he's also setting himself up to lose to late game Crawdon. So, I'm pretty sure we have an end. Because once the terrain goes away, if he gives me this Pokemon, I Aqua Jet through the rest of his team. I get up a Squards Dance, and I go from there, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But we'll see what we can do. So we're going to drop a big Thunder. That is going to be the end of Tapu Lele. Down it goes. Pretty awesome. Now it's a matter of what I want to sack. It's the Skarm. Kind of scary. Geist. So kind of scary. Now the only unfortunate, like, how many turns of rain left? Turns of rain left, so I don't think a banded Terrakion kills our Tangro in one, so we should be able to position ourselves where we can get max rain turns with our Azelf as well, which is pretty clutch. <laughs> and I'll be able to get my rocks into uh, rain dance. He's gonna Mega Horn. Oh, I'm sorry, missed. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. I am just gonna Giga Drain, though. Giga Drain. I apologize, my friend. I apologize. I was sacking that, but. I mean, I might as well save this Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I can go hard as elf and get up my rocks. And then go Kablooey right on his face. Um, let's see. Fun. Theria. We are boots on our Thundy as well. Uh, I want to see how much Thunder does. Pretty, pretty much. 
thought that was great. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, personally, I think getting at my rocks is probably the most important. Because Sash, um, see, guys, it's kind of annoying. Maybe Rain was better there, actually. He could try and get up his own rocks. I'll take that. He could think I need the rocks for the Thundy. Kill. Ugh. That's fine. Now what we need to do is we need to go our Thundy. We agility up. We're gonna need to get a little lucky with our Thunder so we could actually totally lose this game. <laughs> we could totally lose this game, which is terrifying. Um, we'll see. I want to see grass knot. How much that does too. Not what the heck? Grass knot. Thank you. To Terrakion. After rocks, it kills. That's what we would go for. I'm gonna set out socks. Okay, that's fine. Grass not should kill this thing. And there's literally no reason for me to risk anything otherwise. So that's what we're gonna click. We're gonna click grass not, this should kill it. Awesome, down goes socks. Um, which is very nice. Ooh, going to be Poltergeist. Now, I think what I do here is I drop one Thunder. If I miss, I sack off Tangra. I'm going to Thunder here. Thunder is going to connect, which is literally amazing. Strength out's gonna come, that's fine. He expected us to go crawled on, he was trying to get his sash back. Not gonna be enough. But I know better. <laughs> I am not going to go back up. Because I don't want to. We're gonna thunder again. We are going to hit once again, which is awesome. Oh, we get the para. I'm sorry, man. That's super brutal. That's basically gonna seal the game. So he's wider. He basically has to get up two, though. As long as I hit a couple of my thunders here. We're gonna hit another one. We are getting very fortunate. <laughs> I am getting incredibly fortunate. I will not lie to you. Good lord, that's a lot of thunders. That is a lot of thunders. He told me to click thunder, I lose. No, John, no. Well, out comes Rustwing, and I hope we can hit this thing. This is the main one I want to hit. Uh, I have 12 left. I should be able to hit one of them. <laughs> should be able to. We're gonna use thunder. Oh, we missed that one. No, we're gonna roost there. And Thundy and Kingdra showing that they are ridiculous Pokemon and incredibly strong. I'm really excited to see Thundy T pop off. This is one I really haven't gotten to use very often in anything. Um, Thunder's gonna pop this time. So if he doesn't roost here, he loses. It's obviously sturdy right there. 30 is going to allow him to endure the hit. He's going to body press, and this means the next turn we can just rest. 
no reason to do anything otherwise. Ah, oh, actually, grass knot will not do enough. Um, uh, farmery. Grass knot doesn't do enough. What's more accurate? 70. 70. I like thunder. It's just cool. Maybe I should go focus blast because I have better odds that way. Later. But we're going to hit the thunder. So regardless, it does not matter. Thunder. Thunder T. Drop it in on him. Going absolutely nuts in this game. GG to John. Um, I think our matchup was really insane. He didn't have a water resist versus rain. And that's obviously not a good time. So GG to him. I think he played very well. I think he put himself, uh, tried to put himself in the best position to win possible. Um, just Thundee plus, uh, what do you call it? Kingdra was a little bit too much for him, unfortunately, which is understandable. But again, GG to John. Definitely go check him out in the description below. We are one and one against each other in UU Wi-Fi battles. Hopefully we can grab another one soon and break the tie. I'm hoping that we're able to take that one off of him. But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't dropped a like on the video already, please consider doing so. And if you haven't dropped a sub yet, please consider doing so. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.